What's up, fellas? It's the uh, 12th of uh, June. I'm sitting here at the front of my house. The uh, uh, law enforcement officers just left because I have been listed again as... Um, well, I'm going to sit down for a minute. I think I'm going to have to title this video, um, there is a breaking point for uh, good average men where they get to a point to where nothing else makes sense and that they have nothing to lose and they make a critically bad decision because they don't have a decent older man in their lives was going to tell them that um, it's better for you to let it go than to uh, make things worse. And um, unfortunately, I can relate to the bad guys. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go back inside the house. Um, The, the, the man I'm talking about is going to seem young to me, but he's 35, and um, <clears throat> he's done. That's his third strike, so let me just go in the house. Um, <clears throat> it's very warm outside. Um, he didn't have anybody else to uh, come and help him, and he... Uh, I'm uh, pushing the buttons to shut the lights off, and I'm going to go back out to the back. I was in the back of my house, and my, my wife's in bed, so it's 11-something. I, <clears throat> I don't know how to say this, so I'm going to try to not make this a major fucking deal, but... There are far too many good, really good young men out there that don't have anybody that they can count on to be on their side. And um, I don't have to believe that you're correct as long as it... Now, let me have you a caveat for this. This has anything to do with children. Um, I will fucking cut bait and throw you under the bus face first. Man, you better not have anything to do with children or anything like that. So uh, let me let me go back fucking inside so I don't fucking sound like a psychopath. Um, so anyways, it's um, uh, and I'll show you the clock so it doesn't sound like I'm. That doesn't fucking matter. Let me just show you the fucking. It's on the. It's on the stove. Uh, it says it's a eleven oh six, eleven oh six on the microwave. Eleven oh six. So um. Fuck! I think I'm gonna have to sit down and. I'm gonna fucking sit down and just say. I get a call and uh. 1015 uh, from a young man and he tells me this is exactly what he says He's, uh, I'm, I'm going to try not to be upset but he says this he says coach I don't have anything else to fucking lose they've taken everything from me uh, he lost his job All that to say this, and I'm, I'm asking you, ladies, to not show any pity on a man and to willingly destroy his life, completely destroy his life, because the pendulum has moved so far over here to where...
If you're a guy, it doesn't matter the fucking color of your skin, where you grew up, who you know, or anything else. If you're a guy and a girl says you did something fucked up to him, and he, he told me, Coach, I tried to make it to your house. I love you guys. I'm going to do what I can to help you. And I don't think that anybody who is a decent human being understands just how much pressure and liability, responsibility, liability more than anything, men, especially young men, have to go through that I didn't have to deal with. I can't even fucking tell you. You as a young man now in 2023, you can't get away. Anyways, um, I'm going to do what I can to help this young man. But I think his, uh, his life tonight has completely changed its course and direction. I, I'm going to say this to you guys in the MGTO community and you guys in the Red Pill community. Yeah, you got it right. Um, I don't know how you can justify having a woman in your life when she can, with a phone call, completely destroy your life and change the course of your life with one phone call. And it doesn't even have to be true. All I have to say this. I love you guys. I'm going to do what I can to help you. Um, and there's no caveat to that where I say, but, or unless, unless you do this. And, uh, look, as long as it doesn't involve a child, um, and you didn't hurt a child, or you didn't hurt an old person, or you didn't hurt somebody who couldn't fight back. I'm going to do what I can to help him, but I will tell you this. As an older man talking to younger men, you have far less of a chance of making an honest mistake than I did at your age. And I think that it is far better for you as a younger man to become a part of the red pill MGTO community than to try to become a father or husband. Women are nothing like they were 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. They're nothing like they used to be. Um, and I'm not saying that there aren't good, hard-working, average women out there that want to build a life with you, but you are women, ladies. You are so fucking hard to find, and it is so risky for any of us as men to be involved with you that it's, it's just not worth it, and it's why men walk away, why men go their own way, why men take the red pill and just, no, it's just not worth it. All right, all that to say this. Well, I almost said his name. Love you guys. I'm going to do what I can to help you. You don't owe me anything. But I would appreciate it if you're going to do something fucked up. Could you do it like from like 1 to 3 o'clock? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to be a fucking... Anyways. I already called the Mingle Bail Bonds. And I can't afford to bail for this guy, for what they have him hemmed up for. So um, it is what it is. You guys stay safe and healthy. I'm, I'm telling you guys, in three to seven years, you guys are going to become demigods. And the world is going to bend the knee to you, but you have to make it from here to there.
like a fork in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. I, I, I'm i going to do whatever I can to help you, but there are some things I can't. Listen to me. You have a $5 million bond. You can't come to my house or send some of your friends to my house. And that's what happened. A mother and an aunt came to my house and asked me if I would pay a five million, that's 10% 10, 10 of $5 million. You guys let me know what you think that comes out to in math. And here I am, I'm in my fucking pajamas. Um, Anyways, we don't talk to the police. We don't tell on ourselves. We have two ears and one mouth. We listen twice as much. You know what? That's enough of this fucking shit. Like a Ford and a G string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Love you guys.